Hello and welcome back to the channel. If you're interested in improving your understanding and use of English nouns, you've come to the right place. This video is part of a playlist on our channel, focusing on improving your vocabulary and use of collocations. In today's lesson we're going to study the English noun business and some of its many use cases and collocations. By the end of the video, I'll provide you with an exercise so you can test your knowledge and use of the word. Also, you can download an exercise sheet by clicking on the link below the video. Before we get started, do consider helping us. Subscribe to the channel, give a like, and don't forget to hit that notification button, this way you help ensure that we can continue to provide you with more videos like this one. The use of the noun business can be traced all the way back to Old English. Back then it meant care, anxiety and occupation. In the late 14th century the first modern uses of the word can be found, in phrases that mean livelihood, occupation and state of employment. In English, being a mercantile language, the word business has made its way to our top 100 list of most frequently used nouns in modern English. There is a lot to learn, so buckle up, it's going to be a bumpy ride. In broad terms, the noun business can be used in six different ways. You can refer to the buying and selling of goods. It can also be used to describe the amount of trade done during a transaction. Additionally, it can be used to talk about a specific firm, shop or company. Use the word business to talk about work in general and responsibility. Sometimes, you will want to describe important issues or matters, and you can use business for that as well. Lastly, you can describe a situation or an event and use the word business to talk about that. Let's have a look at some examples, in which we are talking about the buying and selling of goods and products. Use the noun business together with a number of different adjectives. Frequently used adjectives include big, profitable, private, core, retail, wholesale, and investment. It looks like this. This amazing new invention could be big business. Here, big business means that the invention has potential. The family owns a number of very big businesses around the globe. In this example, we're referring to the size of the businesses. It will become a profitable business after around 18 months. This example shows when the business reaches break-even and beyond. A business can also be private. Private business means that the ownership is private and not public. Oftentimes you will want to describe what is the most important part of a given business. In this case we often use the adjective core. The core business of Microsoft used to be the distribution and selling of operating systems. Today, Microsoft focuses more on the commercialization of their cloud business called Azure. So here you can see that core business means the most important business component, or from where the most substantial revenue stream comes from. We also often say retail business and wholesale business. Retail business refers to the sale of goods to the public in relatively small quantities for use or consumption rather than for resale. Conversely, wholesale business is the selling of goods in large quantities to be retailed by others. As you can see, there are a great many adjectives you can use together with business to describe a specific kind of business. Let's take a quick look at some of the most popular verbs you can use together with business. You can use the phrasal verb carry on in the meaning of continue. Here's an example of that. The company has ceased to carry on business. Here it is used in a legal context and means the company no longer does business and has probably been forced to close. Another common use is the following, she conducts her business very well. This phrase means that she manages her business well. We can also do business. Example, I think we can do business with him. Here we are saying that a person gave a good impression, and we trust that business can be done with him. She works in the beauty business. In this context we're talking about the specific segment or business area in which she works. Business is frequently used with different forms of expressions or phrasal verbs. The phrasal verb go into is no exception. She decided to go into the beauty business. In order to set up her business, she decided to study the area intensively. Unfortunately, 
Due to a severe macroeconomic downturn, her company eventually went out of business. These samples show the beginning, middle, and end of a business. Go into means to begin, set up means to establish, and go out of business means to end the business or to close the company. Let's take a closer look when the word business is used together with another noun. The business deal was a great success. The business transaction took a long time to go through, meaning to come to an end. Do you have a business meeting tomorrow afternoon? Yes, but before that I have a business lunch with Sally. Next week we are going on a business trip to New York. The business community where I live is quite strong. The new business manager in the company seems to be very strict. My new business partner is not easy to deal with. There are many other possibilities for example business interests, business matters, business investment, and business secret. I'd like to mention one or two interesting phrases. You can say it's business as usual. This means that things will continue as normal in spite of a difficult situation or a dilemma. If you say that you need to travel, somebody might ask you the question, business or pleasure? This means they want to find out what the aim is of your trip. So far we've been focusing mostly on the use of the noun business in the context of buying and selling goods. Let's focus our attention on when it refers to the amount of trade done. Business was good. We sold a lot of products. Conversely, business was bad means that we didn't sell as many products as we expected. There are three interesting verbs you can use when we talk about the amount of trade done in a given situation. You can use the phrasal verb drum up. In this context it means to generate. He is in South America drumming up business for his new company. We need to generate more business otherwise we might go out of business. I hope we don't lose more business to our competitors. Now let's focus a bit on the use of business when we refer to a firm. Company or shop. Here are some of the most commonly used adjectives in this context, large business, medium-sized business, small business, family business, international business, local business, private business and state-owned business. Let's see some real-world contextual examples of that. Many years ago a group of four people set up a small family-owned business. In later years, it became a large international enterprise. The business turned profitable in the early years, and has been successful ever since. The founder Rachel Thompson built the business from scratch, and has successfully managed the business ever since. Several other competitors have tried to take over the business, but they have been unsuccessful so far. Next year the owners intend to expand the business overseas. This was a small sample of some of the many things you can do with the word business when you want to provide and attribute qualities to the word business. You can also say that a business does well. Business is going really well, Matthew said. Business took off only three months after the company was founded. Let's quickly turn our attention to work and responsibility. You will often see the following use of business in English, the chefs get up early to go about their daily business. Here it is used to emphasize what they normally do. You can also say, she decided to make it her business to find out who was responsible for the accident. So, here we use the verb make. There are several interesting phrases we can touch upon also. You have no business opening that drawer. You should not be doing that. Mind your own business. Focus on your own affairs not mine. You don't get to ask that question. It's none of your business. It's also possible to emphasize the importance of an issue by using the word business. You can say private business, important business, pressing business, urgent business and unfinished business. The last one we've seen quite a few times in action movies. I have some unfinished business to attend to. That would mean someone is going to take some serious action. But it can also be used in other contexts, simply meaning you have to finish something. Don't forget the expression, let's get down to business. This means it's time to work and talk seriously. Lastly, we can describe events or situations using the word business. I'm looking forward to when this whole business is over. 
he broke his legs several places. It was a terrible business, here meaning situation. Okay, now let's do a quick exercise together. I'm going to ask you to grab a notebook, your computer, tablet or smartphone, and get ready to answer some questions. If you don't have the time now, it's not a problem, as you can always return to the video and do the exercise at a later stage. Remember that you can also download the exercise in PDF format below the video. You have 5 minutes to complete the exercise, after which the answers will be given at the end of the video. Good luck! Okay, so welcome back. How did it go? Let's check the answers. Please compare your answers with the answers on the screen now.
Thank you so much for making your way to today's video. I hope you enjoyed it, and learned a lot. As always, I recommend that you watch this video a couple of times and take some notes. If you got some value out of this video, please help us. Give a like, hit the notification button and subscribe, if you haven't already done so. This simple gesture will enable us to continue providing you with English lessons. Thank you very much for stopping by, and see you soon.